Question number 22. The position vectors vectors a, b, a and b are minus 4, 6 and minus 8, 2 respectively. Uh, point M is a midpoint of A, B and point N is a midpoint of O, A. Uh, part A, find Roman number 1, uh, the, ve the, ve the vector A, B. Before we start answering the question, uh, it, it is good that we have a sketch of uh, our uh, the information we represented uh, on a sketch. So we can say that is our vector A, B. Uh, so this is a can say this is a that is the origin uh, so we have our this is our a and this is our b uh, the coordinates of a are minus four six from the position vector here and the coordinates of b are minus eight uh, two uh, th this is the origin uh, so that is the direction of that vector uh, M is a point here, M the midpoint of AB, N is a midpoint of OA, so we have our N there. So that is the information that we have been given here. So to find AB, AB to in vectors, we say to move, for, it is right to move from A to B using an alternative route. So we say we move from A to O and O to, o to B. Uh, so we say, but instead of saying a o, we say minus uh, o a, where minus represents that you are moving against the direction of the vector. So we say, uh, we say a b is equals to minus o a uh, plus o b, which we can rewrite it as o b uh, minus o a. And we have our OB is minus 8. We have been given here uh, the position vector. It means the position, the vector from the origin. So it is minus 8 and 2. And we have uh, min, uh, minus. Uh, the other one is minus 4 and uh, 6. So this is equals to minus 8 minus minus 4. That is minus 8 plus 4. And that should give you minus 4. This is 2 minus 6. I to be, you'll be able to get minus 4. So that is a, that is a vector AB, uh, which we have required, we, we have been asked to find. Uh, Roman number 2, uh, what we do is the coordinates of point M, N. Uh, so we can get the coordinates of M. Uh, let's start with M. We simply can use the coordinates. So we can say minus 4, minus 8, that is uh, minus 4 plus minus 8, you divide by 2, and the y is uh, uh, 6 plus 2, and you divide by 2, so this will give you m, uh, this is minus uh, 12 divided by 2, that is minus 6, and this is uh, 8 divided by 2 you get 4 so those, these are the coordinates that is the simplest way you can get uh, the coordinates of m n is a n is a uh, n is a midpoint of uh, of uh, o, o a so you can do just do the same and say n the coordinates at the origin is 0 0 so you just say it is a minus 4 plus 0 divided by 2 and we have uh, then uh, we have the other one is uh, uh, 6 plus 0 divided by 2 and this should give you uh, n is uh, uh, this is a minus 4 divided by 2 that is minus 2 and the other one is 3 6 divided by 2 you should be able to get 2 3 so that is you'll be able to get a mark for each uh, the magnitude of nm the vector nm this is a vector nm uh, that's okay nm uh, so that is a vector nm how do you get the magnitude we need first of all to get the vector nm nm is equals to uh, you can say it is minus o n uh, minus o n o n uh, plus 
O M. Uh, we have we can put O M here. So remember, we have already obtained the coordinates of M and N. Uh, so our M is uh, we have found it is minus six and four, and our N we have found it is minus two and three. So getting these vectors is easy. So this is equals to O M uh, minus O N. Uh, which we can which we can get and just use the same our om is a uh, minus six uh, four uh, you minus on is a uh, uh, minus two three and this you will be able to get as uh, minus six minus minus two is minus six plus two and that should give you minus four uh, this is a uh, 4 minus 3 that will give you 1 so that is a uh, that is our that is our om that is our nm and to get the magnitude of uh, magnitude of uh, uh, nm we say nm is equals to the square root of uh, minus 4 squared uh, plus 1 squared uh, which you get this is a square root of 9 and that should give not uh, let me see, see uh, not 9 but uh, this is 16 uh, square root of 17 uh, so when you get the square root of 17 uh, then you should be able to get uh, the square root of 17 using a calculator it is equals to uh, 4.12 uh, then this is to two decimal places so that's how you get the magnitude of nm part b we are told the coordinates of point c is 2a uh, 2a that is 2 x is 2 and y is 2a vector c a is parallel to vector ob determine the value of a uh, the first thing is uh, we can be able to show uh, that uh, vector so we can say this is where we have our c and the coordinates are coordinates of c uh, this is c coordinates of uh, 2 and a uh, so this is vector c it is parallel to ob so it, that is important uh, with that you can come here and say two parallel vectors uh, let's uh, let's first of all find uh, uh, C A. Now uh, we say C A is equal to from C. Uh, we can draw another vector here uh, to represent vector O C. Uh, so this is O C. Uh, so with that we can say C A is minus O C uh, plus O A, uh, which we can write. Uh, it is O A minus O C. So we already have the coordinates of A or with that we have the position vector OA. So this is equals to minus 4, this vector here, and 6. And uh, then we subtract uh, we subtract OC. OC will take the uh, position vector with, with the coordinates 2 and A. So this is 2 and that is A. Uh, so this will give us uh, minus 4 minus 2 that will give us minus 6 and this is uh, 6 minus a so we just write 6 minus a because we don't know a that's what we are looking for now that is our ac and because we are told that uh, ca is parallel to ob it means we can be able to express uh, uh, oc in terms of ob uh, not OC rather it is uh, not OC but CA CA is a scalar multiple of OB because they are parallel now we already have OC so we have minus 6 and uh, 6 minus A that is what we have found to be our OCA uh, once we have that it is equals to K uh, our OB we already have it is minus 8 and 2 uh, so with that we can now equate 
k minus 6 minus 6 is equals to minus 8k because they are the same so we can say our k is equals to you divide both by minus 8 it is 6 minus 8 that is minus 6 minus 8 which is equals to you divide by 2 it is 3 uh, 3 4 uh, 3 3 quarter so that is the value of k uh, with that we can again now equate so it means 6a 6 minus a is equals to uh, 2 multiplied by now 2k but now we already have our 2k which is 3 over 4 uh, we can simplify here by 2 is 2 by 2 is 1 so 6 minus a is equals to uh, this is uh, uh, 3 over 2 that is 3 over 2 uh, once you get that you can take a to the other side and uh, have this uh, so this is a is equals to let's use this part a is equals to uh, this is 3 uh, no that is 4 uh, sorry uh, this is 2 a is equals to 6 minus uh, 3 over 2 so a is equals to you know six, 3 over 2 is the same as 1 and a half so this will be four and a half. A is four and a half, or uh, A is equals to nine over two. So that is the value of A, uh, which uh, we are supposed to find. So that's how you work out that. Uh, so you are taught vectors two in form three. Uh, this is where you are, This is a question where you need to apply that uh, knowledge. So. Uh, uh, if you look at uh, section one, you will need to know uh, what are position uh, position vectors. These are pos vectors that are from the origin. Uh, but uh, you need to know how to find uh, uh, the midpoint of the coordinates of midpoint. This one you learned in form two. This one you need to know. You also learned in form two how to get the magnitude of a vector. That if you are given that. Uh, uh, if, uh, if a vector is uh, x and uh, y the magnitude is equal is equals to the magnitude of the vector is actually the square root of uh, x squared plus y squared that is how you get the magnitude uh, so from there uh, then you have uh, you have part b then this you need to relate the parallel vectors and uh, know that you for parallel vectors uh, you can express one vector as a scalar multiple of the other and that is a concept that we have used here to be able to arrive to the answer here which is uh, uh, 9 over 2 or 4 and a half so that's how you approach that question